Well, my ancestors came from the highlands of Scotland, where they were crofters, share farmers, dirt poor. Uh, when the enclosure movement arrived, Cameron's, Cameron crofters just didn't have the skills to compete. They didn't stay in, the, in Scotland and ask for a subsidy. They got on a boat and moved to Australia. When my grandfather, was a, who was a blacksmith from the town of Corakai on the Richmond River, came back from the war and found that the horse and sulky had been overtaken by the motor vehicle, he didn't stay in Corakai and ask for a subsidy. He moved to Sydney where the jobs were. And, uh, you know, when the Okies uh, in the Grapes of Wrath found that, you know, their farms had turned into a dust bowl, they didn't stay in the dust bowl, they moved to California. And the principle of people and capital moving from less productive sectors to more productive sectors is the most critical feature of the success of the human species. And if we subsidise agriculture, what we are almost certainly doing is keeping people poor. We wouldn't, we're not the only uh, country, though, that goes down that path. The Americans, the Japanese, very heavily <laughs> subsidise their agricultural sector. Sure. And this is where, you know, I have to say, the National Party has been badly infected with this virus. And, uh, you know, they... Your turn. Um, <laughs> as have other nations, OK? And, uh, but that doesn't make it right. I mean, the, the fact that, you know, you know, Cuba, China, the Soviet Union, uh, you know, were all doing the same thing, you know, the they just States. lost multiple generations. Canada to the productive challenge. And Australia has a magnificent opportunity right now. There are bitter, there's a bitter, bitter grapes in relation to the motor vehicle industry. But the question is not who to blame, but what to learn. Mm. And what we must learn is that if you are, have a domestically focused industry trying to satisfy the aspirations of a domestic market, you are basically stuffed, okay? If you're a 100% unionised shop, you're definitely stuffed.